horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Hurry, big fellow! I'm Silver! In every frontier town where so-called bad men congregated, peaceful Parker, the town marshal, had made the badge of his authority a feared and respected emblem of law and order. Peaceful Parker, a small blue-eyed man who teetered precariously on his high-heeled boots, a little man with two big six-guns who said once in the rip-roaring town of Deadwood... Yeah, 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 yeah. The name is Parker, gents. Peaceful Parker. And we're going to have peace in this town if I have to gun-whip every last one of you Jaspers to get it. Abilene, end of the trail drive. A town of unbelievable wealth, unbelievable violence. You there? Your name Foley? Two-gun Foley, the holy terror I've been hearing about? I'm Foley, and what's it to you, Shorty? Shorty? You made a mistake, bad man. The name is Parker. Peaceful Parker. I'm here to tell you to travel, you big mouth, small brain, two-bit gunslinger. Get your horse and travel, and be mighty sure it's your own horse. Why, you little sawdust! Oh. Well, when your hands get better, big mouth, you better be a long way from Abilene and tell your friends who done the job for you. Peaceful Parker, the town marshal. Courageously, the little man carried his bright shield through the evil rendezvous of bad men along the western frontier. Deadwood. Abilene, Dodge City, Sweetwater. And then, Peaceful Parker journeyed south and pinned onto his fancy buckskin vest the badge of town marshal at Blue River. Uh, come in, Miss Grimes. Uh, have a chair. Oh, thank you, Mr. Marshal Parker. Uh, sit I... down, sit down. Here. Oh, thank you. I reckon you know what brings me here. Uh, Gabby again? Marshal, I... I declare I don't know what's going to become of that man of mine. He, he ain't been to home for three days. Yeah, when he gets to gambling and losing over Tolson's place, well... Tolson, that slimy... I never could understand why you didn't run that buzzard out of Blue River. Well, he ain't never give me a good reason, Miss Grimes. You see, as far as I know, Ben Tolson runs a straight gambling joint. 
And if fellas like your husband insists on going in there and losing every dime they can lay their hands on to, well... What uh, this town needs, Marshal, more than anything else is, is a good big dose of religion. Good old-time religion. Religion, eh? Hmm. Huh. You think that'll take the kinks out of fellas like Gabby? My husband was a good man before we come out to this wild country. Well, lots of fellas wasn't no good before coming out here, and now Just they... the same, Marshal. I, I wish we had more God-fearing folks in Blue River. I wish we had a church. Yes, and a regular parson to run it for us. After Miss all, Grimes, we... Miss I don't know about how many God-fearing folks you can count on. I don't know about getting a church in Blue River. But I do know that you're going to have a parson here and soon. You... You mean a real, honest-to-goodness preacher, Marshal? Yeah, yeah. I reckon he is. Though, personally, when that sky pilot arrives, it's going to make just more problems for me. Oh, no. No. It, why, it'll be wonderful to have a preacher in town. I'll get him to talk to Gabby. Maybe he can even talk him into getting a job, giving up all his drinking and gambling and sinning. Uh, maybe. The noon parson. When will he get here, Marshal? When? Hell, I ain't just certain, Miss Grimes. <coughs> but don't you worry. When you hear the fireworks start in Blue River, you'll know the parson got here, packing a load of your old-time religion. <laughs> A few days later, on the trail that came through the rugged mountain country to the north, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian friend Tonto stopped their horses and dismounted. Oh, Silver. Oh, Scott, oh, fella. Easy, big oh, fella. Oh. <laughs> the man who was riding with them pulled on the reins of the donkey he was riding. And then, with no effort, he threw one leg over the donkey's back and stood up to face his companions. Well, Parson Johnny, this is where we part company. I don't know, I'll make camp below here by the river. And I, my friends, will journey on to the scene of my labors. To another den of iniquity. The infamous town of Blue River. Don't worry about Blue River. As long as peaceful Parker's town marshal there, the place won't be too vicious. Ah, uh, yes, to be sure, to be sure. But there are sinners within the laws of man who are unheeding the laws of the Lord. Yes, you're right, Parson. We wish you a lot of success in Blue River, said he Silver. <laughs> Well, the marshal will be expecting you. Give him my regards. Surely I'll see you again, won't I? Possibly. We'll be around here for a while. Ah, what a wonderful work we could do in this wild country. You and your friend Tonto, Peaceful Parker, and Parson Johnny Brimstone. Ah, uh, plenty fellow around Blue River need catch him religion from Johnny Brimstone. Never fear, my good friend Tonto. I'll see to it that they catch him plenty. Easy now. Steady. <laughs> Come, my long-eared beast, let us make haste. Let us bring the power of Parson Johnny Brimstone to the sinners of Blue River. Get up there. Bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, we will come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. And I told peaceful Parker that I was sending a parson to Blue River. I uh, neglected to tell him that the man was Johnny Brimstone. Uh. When Johnny Brimstone get to Blue River, Peaceful Parker find it out plenty quick. Right, Tonto. So will everyone else in town. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. It was late evening when Parson Johnny arrived in Blue River and introduced himself to the marshal. A few minutes later, the pair made their way down the street and into Ben Tolson's gambling palace. Tolson himself came forward to greet them. Hello, good evening, gents. Who's your friend, Peaceful? A fellow who's come to Blue River to take some of the rough edges off and some of you Jaspers, Tolson. Oh? Could it be that he... I mean, the way he's dressed, that black coat and that big black hat. You guessed it right, mister. This is Parson Johnny. Well, well, right proud to make your acquaintance, Parson. Of course, uh, I don't know as you've come to the right place to... The rest uh... of his name, Tolson, is Brimstone. What's the... Brimstone? Parson Johnny Brimstone. Well, I'll be... You certainly will, brother. I've come to save you from it. 
And just in time, too, it seems. Well, uh, well, what do you know? Uh... Uh, tell me, Parson, is it true that you pack a pair of six guns under that swaller tail coat? Ah, uh, now, Brother Tolson, I'm glad you asked me that. You see, the truth is, uh, uh, <clears throat> Marshal, look yonder. Hmm? The money, the filthy lucre being gambled away to support the devil. Yeah, and I... Come on. I see Gabby Grimes in that game, Parson. He's the fellow I was telling you about. Looks like he's been drinking, maybe. When he's had a few, he's meaning a rattlesnake. Uh, excuse us, Brother Tolson. Come, Marshal. Come on. Feel the cards. You're wearing the spots off of them. What's going on here? Oh, hello, Marshal. Hey, Gabby. Right, you're losing a little, ain't you? Ah, the night's young. It just ain't got started yet. Here, here hold the deal there, Shorty. No, what's the idea? Got a fella here who wants to meet you, gents. Who is he? Gents? I want you to meet the new parson, the Blue River. A preacher? <laughs> His name... Is Johnny Brimstone. Oh, you got something to say to these sinners, I reckon? Indeed I have, Marshal. Indeed I have, sir. Brothers, turn back from your sinful ways. Now, before it's too late, repent and sin no more. All right, you've had your say now. Now, here, I shall place my hat upon the table. Now, step up, brothers, and contribute to the future of this blossoming community. Step up and give from the goodness of your hearts. Uh, your uh, generosity is negative, brothers. Cheapskates. Now come, brothers, come and give a little. Let us take this filthy lucre from the clutching hands of the devil and use it to bring goodness to Blue River. Let us... Ah, why don't you shove off? Parson, you're holding up the game. Oh? Uh, Brothers, brothers, I call upon the goodness of your hearts. Such a little from you means such a lot. Now help me, brothers. Help me to smite the devil. With your help, we can build a wonderful edifice in this fair community. A house of worship. You, you we... mean you want to build a church? Yes, Brother <laughs> Gabby, yes. A house of the Lord, where the sinners can be washed clean. Go away with that palaver. I can get clean right here every night of the week and have more fun doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Brethren, there is my hat. Will you give... Well, you see, Parson, you just picked on the wrong town. This is Blue River. We get ready for a church and a preacher and such, why, we let you know, huh? Yeah, that's all right, that's all right. Oh, come on, Parson Johnny. We're wasting time with these mavericks. Oh, wait, brother, wait. You, brother Gabby, have you no shame sitting in the midst of evil while your poor wife, who loves you dearly, is on her bended knee praying for your salvation? Oh, listen, it... Make them cut it out, will you, Marshal? Yeah, well, please. in vain I have asked you sinners to contribute, to help me chase the devil from your hearts. And even now you sit there, eager to resume your vicious game of chance. Oh, run Silence. Along, will you? Silence. Once more I ask you, brethren, to give. So nobody ain't given. Now are you leaving? No, brother. But you are. Hey, let me lose. Let me go, I tell you. Yes, let me go. Lose. Go home to your no. dear wife and beg her forgiveness. Now. No. Before I lose my temper. It's a good thing you're a preacher. That's all right. <laughs> if you'd have pushed him a little harder, he'd have been halfway home. For shame, brothers. For shame. Refusing to give. Waiting only to resume your evil game. Uh, look, Parson, I'll, uh, I'll make a small donation. Uh, only, well, you're breaking up my game. Breaking uh, yeah, up your I... game, huh? Indeed. Ah, uh, yes. I, uh, I have always said that the place to find the devil is right in the devil's abode. I asked you to give. And I still want you to give. Well, go on. Go on, deal the cards. And deal Marshal Parker in right here in Brother Gabby's place. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. Several hours had passed since Parson Johnny Brimstone had chased Gabby Grimes into the street and Marshal Parker had taken his place at the poker table in Tolson's gambling palace. Uh, uh, did you ever play this game, Parson? Gambling is an invention of the devil. Well, the Marshal is pretty good with the devil's invention, Parson Johnny. It is but fitting that Satan should stand the expense of his own destruction. Uh, Marshal Parker calls your wager, Brother Shorty, and uh, raises it $400. Uh, that's that's a plenty for me. Well, you got too much power for me, Marshal. I'll see you, Han. What do you got, huh? I, uh, let's see, Marshal. Oh, yes, yes. I believe it's known in the devil's jargon as a club flush. They're all blue, brother. Read them and weep. Well, I'll be... Yes, brother, indeed you will. But there is still time for you to come into the fold. Seek ye, and ye shall find. Seek, and ye shall find. Yeah. You know, I've been seeking in every pocket I got, Parson. I'll be blamed if I can find anything. I'm broke. Same here. Well, me too. Personally, I wish I'd have dropped a little something in your hat, Parson. Johnny, when you asked me to. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Now, now be of good cheer, brethren. It's in my hat now. Well, come, Marshal Parker. Let us leave this den of iniquity. Yeah, right with you, Johnny Brimstone. <laughs> right with you. The next morning found peaceful Parker riding the river trail north of Blue River. At the bottom of a deep arroyo, he raised his horse off the trail and rode into a thick clump of jack pine. A moment later, the marshal was dismounting in the Lone Ranger's camp. Hello, peaceful. Mighty glad to see you again. Howdy, masked man. Hey, thought new. How, marshal? Uh, I suppose I should have known you had something up your sleeve when you wrote and said you were sending a parson to Blue River. Well, uh, what do you think of our friend Johnny Brimstone? Uh, he's quite a fellow, all right. Only... Well, he's either going to be too much for Blue River or Blue River will be too much for him. And since you was responsible for bringing him here, I reckon you better be ready to back his play. Johnny Brimstone is one of the finest men I know, Marshal. And I told him about Blue River, wild horses couldn't have kept him away. Uh, what makes you think he needs my help? Well, last night he went over to Tolson's gambling house to take up a collection. Yes? Yeah, they give the parson the cold shoulder. Told him in so many words to move along that he wasn't wanted. Hmm. I imagine he's used to that sort of reception. So then Parson Johnny boots Gabby Grimes out of the place, and I took Gabby's place at the card table and broke the game. And Brimstone feller get collection, huh? Oh, what did Mr. <laughs> Tolson think of that? Well, let me tell you. Brimstone walked out of there with better than 3000 in cash. This morning he notifies Brother Tolson that he's using the money to build a church in Blue River. And that from now on, the saloon and gambling place has got to be closed up on Sundays. That would seem to be adding insult to injury. Can't nobody insult a fellow like Tolson and get away with it. Oh. Any idea what he might do about it? Yeah. Seems like Tolson and some of his playmates held a confab last night, in which it was decided to take care of Parson Johnny Brimstone. How did you happen to find out, Marshal? Yeah, Martha Graham. She's married to this Gabby gent I told you about, and... Seems like he lived up to his name when he got home last night, a little bit liquored up. Oh? Gabby got to shooting off his face how the parson had booted him out of Tolson's place and how they had a little get-together after the game broke up. Gabby went back for the meeting? Uh-huh. Now I learn that Johnny Brimstone is calling all the village folks together tonight for a kind of prayer meeting. Hmm. Did you warn the parson that he might be in danger from Tolson's crime? Well, I just told him to be on his toes. And he says, don't worry, I can take care of myself. I happen to know that he can, and very well, too. However, it's hard for a man to fight against a bullet from ambush. That's exactly why I come to see you. I figured maybe you'd like to be around. Very much, Otto. Ah, me like Parson Johnny plenty. We both do. What time does the meeting start, Parker? About six o'clock, I reckon. We'll be there. Come in closer, brothers. Come closer. Get the devil out of your hearts. 
And listen to Johnny Brimstone. Um, As we stand here in the golden glow of this beautiful sunset, I am in... Look, Charlie Benson, somebody drilled him. Across the street, a masked man. He blasted a rifle out of Shorty's hand. Get that masked man. Get him. Oh, you don't. You there, back in the alley. Drop that gun and walk out with your hands up. All three of you and keep going. Right straight to the jailhouse. Can you watch this crowd, masked man? Otto and I will take care of any shooting to be done peaceful. Uh, Johnny Brimstone. Yes, my friend? Go ahead with your speech. Uh, yes, yes. As I was saying, I am indeed happy to say that some of your uh, good neighbors counted their blessings last night, or uh, early this morning, and found they had a few to spare. And so with $3,000 of generous uh, contributions, we shall build a magnificent house of the Lord in your fair village of Blue River. And, and remember, Sunday is the Lord's day. The church will be open and the saloon will be closed. Let us lift our voices now in a prayer of thanks for these wonderful blessings. You there, get that pipe out of your mouth. What are you coming to my house for? The old lady home? No, she went up the street for a bit. That's good. Oh, but Ben, you, you shouldn't come Shut here. Shut up. Just found out who it was busted up my party on the street this afternoon, Gabby. You mean that fellow wearing the mask? That masked man happens to be the Lone Ranger. The Lone... He's in cahoots with Peaceful Parker and the Parson. And I'm getting my boys together. Well, the ones that Parker ain't got in the jailhouse... Going after the marshal and his friend. Oh? Meanwhile, I'm electing you to take care of Parson Brimstone. Me? But, Tolson, listen, you know that I can't... I know you owe me $1,500. You can't pay up no other way. You understand? But, but how can I... I don't I care mean... how you do it. Just see that you get the job done. You understand, Gavin? In Peaceful Parker's office, the little lawman faced his friends, the Lone Ranger and Tonto. I ain't never been too certain about Ben Tolson. Now I am. It's pretty obvious that he's the man behind the attempt on the parson's life. What are you going to do, Marshal? Same thing you'd do if you were in my place. I'm calling for a showdown right now. Good. Tolson was going to eliminate our friend Brimstone this evening. Thanks to you, his plan backfired. We got three of his gang in jail. Now I'm going out after the rest of them. Want to go along? Do you think you could keep us from going? Come on, Tonto. Ah. Darkness was falling over the town of Blue River when the marshal, accompanied by the Lone Ranger and Tonto, stepped into the street and made their way to Ben Tolson's gambling palace and saloon. Doesn't seem to be much going on in the place, Marshal. Does look kind of deserted. See, maybe... Maybe Tolson is thinking the same as we are. But the best defense is an attack. Keep your eyes open. I don't like the looks of this. Neither do I. Usually this time evening, that place is going full blast. He must have it look out. Back to the wall, quickly. Give them their money's worth, Tonto. Marshal, get shot. Dirty cowards. They don't like it when someone shoots back at them. They're quitting, Tonto. Throwing down their guns. Tolson, watch him. He's getting away. Get their guns, Tonto, and take care of the marshal. Uh -huh. I'm going after Ben Tolson. Here, Silver. Come on, boy. Hurry. As Ben Tolson galloped madly away from the gunfight, he was obsessed with one burning desire to kill Parson Johnny Brimstone, the man responsible for all of his misfortune. With that thought in mind, he guided his horse at full speed toward the shack where the parson lived. Meanwhile, answering the Lone Ranger's urgent signal, the great horse Silver raced up the street of Blue River. Like a flash, the masked man leaped astride the running stallion. 
Kontrolle! Gunfire! That shack where the portion lives! Come on, Silver! Faster, boy! That killer has heard Johnny Bates so we will get him! Oh, oh, Silver, oh! He's a big fella! Masked man. Lone Ranger! What happened here? Tell me quickly. Tolson sent me to get Johnny Grimstone. I fixed the lantern in the shack. Lantern? Funny how it turned out. I, I filled the lantern with blasting powder. Put in a fuse for a wick. Pretty smart, huh? Go on. Well, Tolson didn't know it. I heard the gunfight in town. Then Tolson come. Thought I was Parson Brimstone. Thought you were the parson and shot you. And then? Well, I... I watched him go into the shack and strike a match, light the lantern, <laughs> looking for the $3,000. You're pretty badly wounded, but you'll recover. And when you do, try to remember how your pal Tolson died, will you? And go straight. Do you mean you're not going to no turn No one will over? ever know how Tolson died unless you tell them. Your wife and the parson will be glad to give you another chance. And so am I, Gabby. Oh, oh, oh. Here comes Johnny Brimstone. Come on, Toto. What? Brother Gabby, what in the world? What's happened here? My earthly abode, a heap of ashes. Speak, Brother Gabby. The sea parson, Ben Tolson. A gambler, Brother Gabby. And gambling is an invention of the devil. Yeah, yeah, but by this time, Brother Tolson gambled and he lost. He's inside your shack. Dead. What? Well, I'll whoa, be... Whoa, whoa, Sergeant. <laughs> oh, Sergeant. He would have been... Only Tolson beat you to it. Thanks to the Lone Ranger. I'll send the hurry! have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.